In this video I'll show you how to install WordPress on your SiteGround account and how to optimize everything so it runs as fast as possible. I'll also show you how to brand your website by creating a free professional looking email address and a logo. Sounds good? Well, alrighty then, let's start! Obviously the very first thing we'll need to get started is well a SiteGround account. If you already have a SiteGround account, you can skip to this part in the video. But if you still don't have a SiteGround account, let me show you how to get one of these SiteGround plans with a huge discount. Click the very first link in the description below and this will take you to the SiteGround page where you'll be able to register your website name and get web hosting. Choose the plan that you like. In general, if you're creating just one website, go for the startup plan. For multiple sites, choose the grow big plan. Now. Type in the website name that you want to register, fill out the required information, and that's it. Keep in mind, you can change the subscription period. Weirdly enough, SiteGround doesn't really offer any additional discounts if you buy for longer, so the cheapest is their one year plan. And once you make the payment, congratulations, you're now a proud owner of web hosting and a domain name. Let's put it to good use, shall we? But first, I also want to mention that if you make any purchases using my links, I'll actually get a commission. And this is simply the best way for me to monetize my channel without accepting ads or sponsorship deals. And I also can continue buying, testing, breaking more web hosting plans for your education, entertainment and stuff like that. So thank you for your support and now let's get down to business. Once you purchase your plan, your dashboard will look something like this. In order to install WordPress on your website, you'll need to go into Websites and click New Website. Here you can choose if you want to use an existing domain or purchase a new one. If you purchased a domain with your SiteGround plan or you just have one from another web hosting provider, click Existing Domain and type in the name here. Keep in mind that you'll need to update your name servers to point to SiteGround if you bought the domain elsewhere as I did. Now, select if you want to make a new website or move your existing work to SiteGround. I'll go with a new website and I only want WordPress installed, so I'll select WordPress and create the login information for my WordPress dashboard. Here, SiteGround will ask you if you want SG Scanner installed. It's an extra $20 per year for some extra security. Personally, I recommend skipping it initially. You'll be able to get this if needed later. And now a couple of minutes will pass and my website will be live. So remember when we were setting everything up, I used a domain that's outside of SiteGround. And I said if you do the same, you'll need to update the name servers. Let me show you what I mean and let me show you how it's done. By the way, it's a good skill to have in general because SiteGround takes around like 15 to 16 bucks per domain and you can get the same name for like 5 or 10 dollars elsewhere. So knowing how to update the name servers and attach a domain to any web hosting provider will save you tons of money in the long run. Once the installation is finished, you'll have this screen with two name servers on it. Keep this open. Go to the provider you bought your domain at, for me it's hostinger.com and then navigate to the DNS area. Copy and paste the two name servers SiteGround gave you, click update and wait for like 10 to 20 minutes. Now if we would go to tech2stream.com, it should look something like this. By the way, if you ever need to find your name server information in the future, you can find it by going to websites and next to the domain name clicking site tools. Alright, but enough of the easy stuff, we got ourselves a website now. But it looks like garbage and we still have this not secure tag hovering around. So the next logical step is to set everything up properly, get rid of that not secure tag and slap a brand spanking new design on it. To reach your WordPress dashboard, you need to type in slash login after your website name. Just like this. Use the login information you created earlier to log in. And now we're inside the WordPress dashboard. So we're gonna work on four things, which is speed, security, design and branding. When it comes to speed, SiteGround actually made it pretty easy for us, since their default WordPress installation already comes with the SG Optimizer plugin installed. This is a SiteGround specific plugin that you won't be able to get with any other web hosting provider. To make your website faster, what you want to do is click on the SG Optimizer plugin, then make sure that dynamic cache is enabled and that memcached is enabled as well. You might get an error when trying to enable memcached. To solve this problem, simply go to your SiteGround dashboard and click Websites. Then next to your website name, click Site Tools. Navigate to the Speed tab and click Caching. 
click on memcached option and enable it there. Once this is done, go back to your WordPress dashboard and everything should be working fine. Next, go into the environment optimization and check enable HTTPS. This will remove the annoying not secure tag from your website and give you a green padlock, completely automatically. Keep in mind that you will get disconnected from your WordPress dashboard, so after completing this step, refresh the page and log in again. And hey, look at that, a padlock instead of a not secure warning in just one click. Cool beans, very cool beans. So you gotta keep in mind that I didn't even buy this domain from SiteGround. I just attached it to their services and got myself a free SSL certificate, which is pretty cool. I also recommend you check the fix insecure content to guarantee your padlock stays active at all time on every page of your website. Next, you'll want to go into media optimization and check new image optimization and lazy load media. This will reduce the size of all new images you upload and make sure that any GIFs and yes, I'm saying GIFs, not GIFs because saying GIFs is stupid or video content you upload only loads when a user reaches that part of the website, saving you that precious, precious loading time. So yeah, this is by far the easiest way to optimize the website I've seen with any web hosting provider. SiteGround gives you all of the tools in one place and you don't need to play around with three or four different plugins for each of these tasks. This is a huge time saver and these optimizations aren't just for show. This is real life stuff. These are actual optimizations that people have been using on their websites since forever now. And of course, SiteGround didn't invent this, but they did make it really beginner friendly by putting everything into one place and bundling it with all of their plans. Good job, SiteGround. Now we've got a blazing fast website that's ready to take on the world. Problem is... It still looks like hot garbage. I'm going to show you how to create a website just like this in another two minutes because yeah, it's like super easy. So keep watching and get that knowledge. Jump right back into your SiteGround dashboard, hover over appearances and click themes. Then click the add new button and in the search bar, you'll want to type in Astra. Download and activate the Astra theme. Now, go into the plugin section and you'll see this Get Started button. Click on it and choose Elementor as your website builder. You can now sort the themes by free and choose whichever one you like best. I'm going with this one because I find the puppy cute and I don't need any other reason beyond that. Now, you'll want to click on Import Complete Site and wait for the installation to finish. Once it's finished, simply go ahead and visit your website. Bing bang boom, you got yourself a professional looking website. You can modify absolutely anything on here by clicking edit with Elementor, it's really simple. I won't go into too much detail on how to edit everything in this video, but I'll leave a card that should show up at the top right now, where I cover this topic more in depth. Okay, so your website now is fast and pretty, but it's missing some of that personal flair, a bit of that spice. So let me show you how to create a professional looking logo completely free using nothing but your browser and how to brand yourself using a professional looking email address. For the email, you'll want to go back into your SiteGround dashboard, click on websites and next to your website name, click site tools. Now you'll need to go into the emails tab and click accounts and that's pretty much it. Here you can choose what name you want your email to use and the password for it. For example, I'll do emmet at tech2stream.com and you can check your email directly through SiteGround or connect it with your Gmail account. I have a tutorial on how to do it that's going to pop up right now. The information you need to follow that tutorial can be found here. With the email out of the way, let me show you how to create the professional looking logo that I was talking about earlier. Visit Zyro.com and click on the logo maker. Then click create your logo. This is an interactive design tool that will allow you to whip up some cool and simple logos quickly. You can choose from plenty of free images, change the fonts, change the colors, rotate the image as you like, change the spacing between letters. It's all completely free and you're able to download the image to use for your website, no problem. Here, I've opened it up in Photoshop, there's no branding or anything, it's just a simple PNG file and it's completely safe to use. And that's pretty much it. This is how you set up a SiteGround account properly and brand yourself for free. So let me know what you think about this video in the comments down below. Remember, you can get the best possible deals and discounts through the links down in the description below. So go ahead and start creating your website. Good luck.